This is the Holland Assets Podcast, where we'll show you how to go from employee truck driver to savvy business owner. And we'll do it together because we're starting our own trucking company, Holland Assets. So you'll get a front row seat through the whole process. Together with some experts in the field, we'll teach you how to set up a business, buy a truck, get your DOT and MC numbers, get insurance, and a lot more. Thanks for joining us. Welcome, everybody, to the Holland Assets Podcast. This is episode number 24. We're going to be talking about September financials, going over the state of the business. We're getting one of these. Is this going to be every month, Chris? I think we're going to do it every month. It's it's one of my favorite episodes. I, I like talking about how the business is doing, and, and it's important to talk about it. I, you know, all my businesses, I review the financials and the financial strength every month, and and, and I think it's a critical part. You, you it shows you um, or helps you stay on top of issues that are coming along and you can attack them before they become huge problems or, you know, just let you see the success and how things are going and feel good about things. And that's kind of the purpose of this podcast in some ways is to provide a window for somebody looking to do this, looking to start their own uh, owner operator company. It lets them see a window into what's going on with another company, and, and I, I like providing that. Yeah, so, for sure. It's going to be a good one. So before we get started, I will remind everybody, go to hollandassetsllc.com for the full show notes. Chris, are there going to be any uh, accompanying documents there, PDFs, that sort of thing? Yep, we're going to post the uh, profit and loss statement, and the uh, balance sheet will both be there for people to look at. Okay, so hollandassetsllc.com for those show notes. So Today, before we get into the uh, the nitty gritty, the numbers themselves, tell me about life on the road. How's it going out there, Chris? Um, it's going pretty well. September, a lot of things happened, and we'll, and we'll talk a little bit about that as the as this episode goes along. But one of the things that was kind of interesting, you know, um, a couple weeks ago, we I talked a little bit about my daughter getting her her tub. Um, oh, that's right. drain Clock, filled with hair and, and that happening slowly over time. Well, another similar kind of thing is, has happened to me. Um, when I first bought my truck, I, I noticed it kind of pulled just a little bit to the right, just tiny, tiny little bit. And, um, I didn't really think too much of it. And then kind of as time went on, it get, started getting a little bit worse and worse. And, you know, the, the, the tires started wearing a little bit funny. And then before you know it, all of a sudden, like the truck shaking at a certain speed, about 45 miles an hour and, and, um, you know, the, the steering wheel would rattle really bad. My teeth would rattle and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting an arm work workout, keeping it, <laughs> keeping it going straight down the road. And so I had to go get an alignment done and, and two new, um, steer tires put on the truck, but man, I, I can't believe what a big difference it makes because I, you, you, you don't realize how bad it is until it gets fixed. And, and it was really starting to get pretty bad and I got it fixed. Now I can like steer with one little finger because it's just, so you're gonna it's have Find some other way to work out your yeah, arms. Yeah, you, you know that uh, I think it was Sylvester Stallone, the truck driver that there was an arm wrestling champion. Oh, that's and right. He'd, he'd, uh, he'd, over the top. Over the top. Yeah, there you go. I need to go back and watch that. <laughs> no, you don't. You, you really <laughs> it's don't. That bad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, maybe I need to get one of those like uh, rubber bands, or just maybe I can use my bungee cords and work out my arm. Hey, you know those little uh, the little hand gripper. Yeah, work out things. I'm gonna see you driving down the road one day. <laughs> Doing and, that, yeah, one arm in the yeah, window. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a grip of steel. There you go. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you had to get two new steer tires. I you did. had to get the alignment done, and I bet that that was not cheap. No. Those are those are the priciest tires on the truck. They right? are the priciest tires on the truck, and and I actually got. Um, my drive axles aligned as well, along with the steer axles since, since I was all there. And it, the total bill came to kind of just shy of 2000 bucks for the alignment and the steer tires. Yikes. And that's okay. And that's after in, was it June or July? You got hit by a deer. I got hit by a deer. And yeah. then in August, you broke down. That was actually in September. In se- that was, was it the, really? br- the very beginning of September. So okay. a lot of this stuff all happened right in September. Gosh. So when it rains, it pours. When it rains, it pours. Yeah. That's awful. So... Luckily, you had been saving, and that, and this is where I, I kind of wish I had one of those like buttons that uh, what's the guy on CNBC, Jim Cramer, or you know I can have a siren go off where it's like alert, alert, Chris is going to talk about savings, you know. Um, anyway, but luckily you had been saving. But my question right off the bat would be, were you saving enough? Um, How did you do with all this? Well, my no, my my repair and maintenance budget is a little bit hammered right now. 
Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers for a, a couple good months. Um, you know, we're, we're a week into October so far. So good with October and hopefully October will be a good month. It's you, you, the last quarter, October, September, November, or October, November, December of every year is typically when the rates are best. Cause you've got the holiday push for, for goods being shipped all across the country. So, um, hoping for a good month, several months, I, I had enough money in savings to pay for all those bills, but not quite enough money in maintenance and repairs. So, so I'm, I'm a little bit hammered, but, uh, you know, still money to get it taken care of. And I'm, and I'm still not to the point where I'm sweating. Cause I've, I've still got another, I think I just about five grand in savings total. So we're, okay. so we're healthy you can, still in case of emergency, you can break glass and borrow from other areas that you've been saving for. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So should we jump in then Chris and talk about some numbers for September, including what this repair bill did for you? Yeah, let's go go right ahead and get into it. So in September, I ran a total of uh, 10,520 miles and was on the road for 13 full days and, and six partial days, which is kind of a little bit of a weird mix. I, I usually have a few more full days and not quite so many partial days. So I, I must have uh, had a, a decent amount of loads that kind of took me through Utah where I got to spend the night at home or you know, something like that. I'm or started sure your wife in, in, was happy about that. Yeah, that's always a that's always a good thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so ten thousand five hundred miles. That sounds pretty average then for what you're normally doing. Yeah, though. that's a, a, about average. But the kind of the good thing is those is, is revenue was a little bit higher than normal. Um, just over twenty one thousand dollars. So my actual um revenue per mile was a dollar ninety nine, which which for me is 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 pretty good. You know, if you remember my cost per mile is right around the dollar 65 mark and I'm pulling in a dollar 99, you know, that's, that, that's a pretty decent margin. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. So you had a pretty good margin, but you did have some expenses I had, that I had you had a, to worry about. So how did you do? What, what was the bottom line? So, how did you do? So in the end, the, the total amount of profit for the month was, uh, $1,099 and 86 cents. So almost 1100 bucks. Okay. So, you know, not the best month, but it could have been a lot worse, especially considering all the expenses that we had. Still in the black. Still in the black. And and let's we'll go over kind of uh, some of those bigger out of character expenses to kind of give everybody a little bit of an idea why the profit was um, closer to a thousand instead of it, you know it really could have been closer to four or five. Okay, so I I remember the story of getting towed in yep. Ogallala from yep. by the best hooker in town. Best hooker in town. Uh, that, we're gonna use that for like how many more episodes are we good. gonna? Anytime Chris, we can is, mention that, that's a good. That's this a good is the podcast this episode. is the new inside joke. <laughs> People are gonna start the podcast in have, you know episode thirty, episode and we're 50. still talking about the best hooker in town. Exactly, and, and they're gonna be like, "What did I wander into?" <laughs> uh, okay, so you got, you got towed by the best hooker in town. As I recall, that was just under two thousand yep. bucks. Nine, one thousand nine hundred thirty. $5. Okay. And then what else, uh, what else happened that dug into that bottom line? So we had the alignment that was $476 and 37 cents. Um, we had the two steer tires, which were $1,334 and 18 cents. Oh geez. 1300 bucks for yeah. tires that you can outfit a car with some pretty nice tires Oof. for that much. I'll say all yeah. four of them. I'll, I'll, yeah. For okay. Probably half that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they're not cheap. They do last a lot longer though. They're they're supposed to get you know two hundred something thousand miles. Oh, so. nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, then uh, I had a trailer tire blow too, and that was uh, four hundred twenty one dollars and eighty four cents. I have always been curious about how a trucker reacts when that happens, and how do you know when it happens? That's a pretty loud bang. It can be a lot of times though, when you're on the road, especially if it's the trailer, it's far enough back there that you, and you know, there's enough, you know, you, the engine noise and everything like that. You, uh, you don't hear it. My, my particular trailer has a air system on it where it self inflates the, uh, trailer tires. And so there's a light on the corner of the trailer that I can see in my rear view mirror that comes on if there's something wrong in that air system. So as soon as a tire blows, that light lights up Going and crazy. You see it, and, and the two times I've had blowouts happen on the road, you see that the tread going off, and I, I've seen it, so I, I knew it happened right away. But you know, luckily you've got you know four four tires on that same in that same, same area, vehicle. so one goes off, you can you can limp into a a 
tire store and, and get it fixed. And this place that I went to was, it was, it was awesome. I like, I literally pulled in, talked to the guy, put myself in sleeper mode while I, they worked on the truck and I wasn't even through a 30 minute break by the time they were ready to have me back on the road. So it was, <laughs> you obviously weren't the first one time, man. They, they were fast. It Where was, was that? Let's give them a plug. Do you uh, remember? I, I can't. I can't. Remember. It all bleeds together. We'll, I can't we'll give remember. them a plug later. But yeah, I'll, I'll throw it in the show notes. But yeah, okay. it was. It was good. It was. It was awesome. They were fast. They were a good group of guys. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so if my mental math is okay, yeah. Well, you already said it. It's just over four grand, right? For yeah. all of these repairs uh, and maintenance on the truck. And that really dug into it. So, like you said, might have been closer to four or five grand profit in September, but stuff happens. Yeah. And, and, you know, the thing is like a lot of those expenses are, are normal wear and tear expenses. So the trailer tire was an older trailer tire. It was going to need to be replaced sometime soon anyway. So that's, you expect that kind of thing to happen. The steer tires, kind of the same situation. They were getting close to needing to be replaced. So they ended up getting replaced. That Those are normal expenses. Um, the, the thing that were kind of the shocks were the toe and the alignment so that, you know, between the toe and the alignment and some of those, you know, unexpected expenses that are, are really what I would consider more of a repair than, than maintenance. That was almost 2,500 bucks. So you add that 2,500 bucks back in and, and, you know, even September with everything that happened was, would have been a, a really a pretty good month, pretty close to almost four grand in profit. Nice. Okay. So uh, that covers our profit and loss and uh, what we wanted to talk about there. Did you want to get into the balance sheet at all this, this month? Yeah. Let, let's talk just a little bit uh, about some of the balance sheet items. So Do you want to the, refresh everybody on the difference profit and loss yeah, balance sheet? So your profit and loss shows just like it says, your, your, whether you made money or you lost money, kind of what your, your income was, it lists out all the revenue takes out all the expenses and leaves you with your net income, how much money you made. The balance sheet is really what shows kind of the, I the think the best way to put it is the overall financial health of the company. It lists, you know, how much money you've got in checking, how much money you've got in right. savings, how much you have in assets, and then how much money you owe, and then how much equity you've got in the business. I always think of the the profit and loss as kind of a rolling, ongoing, constantly changing thing. The balance sheet is more of a static kind of snapshot. Yeah, it's a at snapshot any, at one any any given, given point in time. So that when I'm presenting my balance sheet, it's for the end of September. What what the business looked like that last day of September. So what did the business look like the last day of September? Um, you know, it, it pretty good. You know, overall the um, if. The big thing I want to look at is uh, is savings. So in savings, we had almost forty eight hundred dollars, so almost five thousand. That's act after I wiped out um, maintenance and repairs. Um, that's after I'd wiped out overhead savings because I had to pay for my annual license plate and registration, and so that's what I'd been accruing into that savings pot, and I had to pay sixteen hundred dollars for it, and so it went out. And uh, even after that, I've I've still got. Fifteen hundred dollars towards my next insurance down payment. You know, twenty two fifty towards the next truck and trailer down payment, and then I've got another six hundred four dollars in miscellaneous savings. So we, you know, we 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 still got some savings in there to fall back on if we happen to have a, another bad month, and hopefully that won't happen. But I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna set aside any more savings from what happened in in August because August was bad, not that great. September's really not gonna be that great either. So I'm probably not going to, um, save any money for the month of September either. Ouch. Yeah. yeah so I know that's going to that, be, I know how that I don't like you, doing that. I don't like doing that, but sometimes <laughs> you, you have to roll with the punches. And so, you know, we had two, a little bit tougher months, one in August because I, I was only able to work half the month and one in September because we just had a lot of stuff come happen all at once, which, you know, sometimes happens, but we, we were smart. We saved, we had money to take care of it. And, We'll just move on. And looking into the future, like you said, uh, some of this stuff that you had to, to to do, the new steer tires, the alignment, that's kind of maintenance that would have happened anyway, right? Now it's out of the way. Looking forward it, for the next few months, October, November, December, my first question would be, do you, you said, I, I hope for a couple of good months. Do you 
feel like you've got good I, reason to hope there. Yeah, I, revenue should be really, really good those months, and no matter what. That was going to be my other question. It's really the strongest time in the year for the trucking industry. So we should have good. We should have good revenue, and then you know, the expenses side of things, repairs that happen. You, you, I mean, you, you can't really control that. That's Murphy. That's a, that's out of your control. Right. So uh, we're getting into the colder months. Any states that you really hope you don't have to drive across, like Utah to Colorado? You know, <laughs> I, that I, kind I of hope thing. I don't ever have to put chains on the truck, but... Uh, you will. I'll probably have to, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can imagine driving... Uh, a lot of the western states would probably get pretty hairy around yeah. December, January. Uh, you know, especially going through the mountain passes. Yeah. yeah that's, where, that's where they can get really bad. I-80 and through Wyoming can get really bad. Yeah. Nebraska, too. All right. Well, anything else that we want to go over with the September financials or looking ahead into the future? Chris? I, I want to talk one thing real quick on the balance sheet. And yeah. this is kind of getting, this is a little bit more than accounting 101. This is probably getting a little bit more advanced in the accounting realm of things. All right. Everybody put on your thickest glasses <laughs> and let's dive in. Put it your put your pens in your pockets. Exactly. And you'll understand this a lot better. Um I, I'm doing something that's called a prepaid expense. So I talked a little bit about how I had to renew my tags in September. So right. that was a, a, about a $1,600 expense. That you knew was coming. I knew it was coming and I'd save for it. But the thing is, is, is that's an expense that is really something that lasts for a full year, but you pay it one time. So there's one thing that you can do in accounting that's called prepaid expenses and you spread that expense instead of making it all in one month and kind of skewing your numbers for that one month, you spread it out over the year. So what I did is I created an account on my balance sheet and you'll see it in, um, it's listed as a prepaid expense, an IR, IRP payment. And the balance on it right now on the spreadsheet is $1,500 because I applied one twelfth of it. So it was, I think about 138 bucks to, um, September's expense. And then I'll do the same thing in October. And so that, that balance, that prepaid expense will go down as I actually apply that expense for each month. So it spreads it out and gives you a more accurate picture of how profitable that month actually was. So essentially what you're saying is you paid the entire thing in September, mm -hmm. but you're, you're kind of tricking your, uh, profit and loss, your balance sheet into thinking that it's spread out over the full equally 12 months. over the full 12 months which is really how most big expenses like that and and any typically big you know semi sophisticated company is going to run it that way because it, that's more accurate it's it's an expense that you pay one time but it's really something that lasts for the entire year right yeah it sounds like wizardry to me it, it's wizardry but it, it gives you a good more accurate picture of uh um how financially healthy your company is okay all right very good Anything else you want to go over today? I, I think that kind of covers it. Okay. So if anybody has questions about the state of the Holland Assets Trucking Company, hit us up on Facebook. Go to the show notes, comment there, uh, and you can ask us about how things are going. If you have specific questions about anything we've talked about today or anything you feel like we glossed over and you would like for us to answer for you, maybe we can get into that in the October financials. Uh, episode, or we can just tack something on in the future. But if you have questions, ask them. We're always happy to hear from you and always happy to address those going forward. Yeah, great. Yeah, that's a great point. I'd, I'd love to be able to answer some questions on profit and loss and financials and those kind of things. And it, it we'll answer questions we get. So yeah, post them on uh, hollandassetsllc.com. Help Chris nerd out. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening today, everybody. Again, hollandassetsllc.com for full show notes and send your comments there. And also motorcarrierhq.com is where you can go find uh, tools and tips and uh, things that we talk about in many of our episodes. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you for episode 25, which is, do we know yet, Chris? I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do uh, some of those ways that the drivers get screwed. Okay, all right. So things to watch out for in your dealing with other companies. When you're out on the road. Okay, I'll see you then, Chris. See you then.